Hi, I'm Houston Singletary from Ableton, and this is APC20 from Akai Pro. In this video, we'll cover grouping, cue knob, MIDI mapping, and user fader device mapping. So the APC20 also allows for me to work with grouped tracks. For example, here I've got my synthesizer tracks and bass tracks grouped inside Live 8 Session View, but on the APC20 I can access that by opening and closing by selecting Shift, holding down Track 2, and now you can see I can activate opening and closing those. So it gives me a really quick, easy way to navigate around, launch different groups within a scene launch, which is a great functionality inside Live, but I also have the ability to open and close those to actually see what's in those groupings. Bass, Synth, Synth 2, and Synth 3. And that's a look at grouping within the APC-20. You'll notice with the APC-20, I've got my Q level knob here. Now the Q level works great uh, in a DJ capacity or for working with your headphones. And this allows you to monitor uh, headphone level coming out of live into your set. Also works as a metronome uh, level control, just like you would normally inside the interface of live. But you can also assign this through MIDI mapping. See, I can highlight this shade of blue here. Assign it to virtually every control, every parameter that you'd want inside live session view. But in this case, I've assigned it to scene selection, which is cool. So now I'll get out of MIDI map and watch what happens as I scroll through. I'll go down to another scene, maybe go down a little further, go back up to scene two, scene three. So it's a very handy way to scroll through those scenes. And I can set this up to go step by step. I can tie it into my global quantize up top. In this case, I've got it set to a quarter note. I can put this back on a bar. So it's gonna, it's gonna wait for the next downbeat, just like that. And that's utilizing my Q level knob to work with my headphone cue, to work with my metronome volume, but to also work with MIDI mapping for scene launches and other parameters inside Live 8. The APC20 also has another feature called user mode, and it allows me to utilize three different user faders to access devices inside Live, uh, just like this. So I'll go Shift, I'll select User, and now all my faders from left to right, all eight faders are gonna actually activate and work and utilize my actual devices, which is pretty fantastic. So you can see that fader one may control the frequency in the auto filter, number two can control that resonance. But I could go over to faders three, four, and five and actually control the different frequency characteristics and the filter delay, which is kind of cool. So let's go ahead and fire off a scene. So we can do something like that, which is pretty cool. And at any point in time, I can actually exit out of user mode and go back to volume and I'm good to go. And I can use my faders for what I would normally. And I've got three different selection to use. User one, user two, and user three. All are accessible, ready to go, allowing me to have device control inside Live 8, utilizing my bank of faders.